Okay, you guys, this is a hob. It's been a while, but um, this is what we've been putting together. Uh, we've become uh, sharing the most amazing trust on the planet. We've now opened two of these trusts and we are transferring everything over into the trust. And I just want to tell you, I wish I had learned this when I was 18 years old. My life would have been very different. This is what the Liberty Aid Academy Trust can do for you. Check this out. Here we go. Jack McTagg here, John McTagg. Uh, you know, my, you may know me under either name. Jack John, same, same guy, hey. Okay, so this is about uh, the benefits, benefits of our courses. If you have this knowledge, these benefits apply to you. Uh, okay, let's find out what they are. You may not know about these, let's just go over them. A private wealth and family protection. Great. Family and individual vaccination elimination. It signed the trust. You're no longer under the God that your your soul got signed to. We mean 33 the devil and God we trust. Okay. You signed a new trust with Christ and so jurisdiction is eliminated. Uh, what does that mean? That means you just simply say no and they can't vaccinate. They're frozen in place by Christ. This happened to me countless times. And so also for children, if they're beneficiaries of the trust, even if you're not present, Christ won't allow them to be vaccinated. Uh, they will be frozen in place too. Why? Because children can be coerced. And so Christ just has to watch over them. So there's that. Jane Hobson, right? Or any other procedure type things. They can't do anything to you. Or no taxes, property, or income, or an inheritance. That's, that's just fun, right? Uh, people don't know that that's 100% true. You can look at this SBA guidance. And right here it tells you, under number three, how will churches qualify? Do organizations, and it doesn't say churches there, see? Do organizations have to request and receive tax and sales status or just meet the requirements of 501c3 status to be eligible. See, there are different types of organizations besides just the church, and, and commas and the word and uh, make them uniquely distinct. So sure, you can do a church with us, but you can also do a convention, which is just any agreement between two parties, and you have two parties, even if you're one of, even if you're the one and the same of two parties, grantor and trustee. Anyway, well, is the question here, right? And do conventions and churches, do conventions uh, qualify for PPP and EIDL? As long as they meet the requirements of 501c3, yes. So such, and here's the second sentence, such organizations are not required to apply to the IRS to receive tax exempt status C26 USC, Title 8 C1A. That's it. It's legal to be tax exempt and not apply. This trust is. Okay. Uh, so that's fantastic. So no property taxes due, no income taxes due, no inheritance taxes due. Fantastic. You don't have to apply or anything. Once you get your trust open, it's just always inheritance and income tax is never due. Property tax can be uh, not due, but you have to apply at the county level for that. Okay. All right. Uh, get any bank loan, both biz, oh wait, let's do the one above that. No bank loans do. Okay, that's personal accounting 101. We can't say debt or credit on our school because we help eliminate debt and we help build credit. Um, other places that, that have a little debt and credit on them, they don't actually help people. Um, so we act, we couldn't get our school open with a communicate rate if we said credit or debt on, on the website. So you know from that information right there that anyone that has credit or debt, any kind of counseling, anything on their website, they're not helping anyone. All right. So you, you find out how to eliminate debt with personal accounting one on one just by following the law. That's not, you don't do anything unusual or anything like that. You follow the law. Does the bank ever sign a contract? No. Okay, so if there's no contract, no agreement between two parties, there's no, there's no contract. 
you know, if there's no meeting in the minds, if there are no two signatures on a contract, no debt is due. There's no agreement. Okay. And, and that's okay. The banks decide not to sign, and that's a business risk, so no money is due to the banks for loans. Okay. That's their choice, and it can be your choice to eliminate any debt. Okay. Thanks. Get any... Okay, guys, so I'm going to keep it really short here. This is what we do now. This is what our 508C1A, which is a nonprofit. We're convention. We're actually teaching this. And we partnered up with Jack's program and becoming the first affiliate program in the state of Hawaii. So if you'd like to learn and get all of these 508C1A benefits, please call me. This is um, only going to be sent to a several people and I have a special going on that I can offer to you. If you really want to learn this stuff and share this information, we're putting a small study group together and I am going to be deciding Monday who will be in the original seven affiliates. So if you'd like to find out more, please send me a text or an email um, as soon as possible and I will follow up with you and get back and uh, we'll talk Monday. Thank you, God bless, aloha, and have a great weekend. This is amazing, guys. Take advantage of this. This is absolutely Jesus Christ trust on earth in Jesus' name.